Oh, okay, so um, please, I wish I had gotten out here earlier before everybody let out of school. It's Friday. Anyhow, um, I've got a tin box, which is Altoid, Altoid box here. And um, I've got some cotton in here that I've cut up to fit in the box. And I'm going to make some uh, uh, char cloth. So this has a hole in the top. Okay. And I close this tight. And then I want to just set this on top of the fire. So now I've set my Altoid box there, and the char cloth is is ready when there, I can see smoke coming out of the uh, the uh, box, the hole that's in the, the the lid of the box there. And all it is is just removing, is just um, uh, making the cloth, the cotton, the natural material, nothing but carbon, so it takes a. Smoke. So if you look closely, you can see. In the middle of the, the the lid of the Altoid box, the tin box, there's a little fire coming out of it. That means the cloth inside is burning, okay? But it's not in the flames of its of the, the fire itself, so it's not like going to burn to ash. All the oxygen is escaping, so it's just going to carbonize inside of the lid. Look very closely, you can see that little, little bitty flame right there. And I want to wait till that because yeah, now it's some now it's coming to smoke, and then I'll take uh, two sticks and kind of remove it and then let it uh, uh, let it continue to do its work until it's cool enough to handle. And that's pretty much how you make char cloth. So I was able to take two sticks and just move the um, tin box down there to cool. You can see probably see some uh, bits of smoke still coming out. Wait for that to cool down. All right, so it's Christmas time. So let's see what the char cloth, what happened with the char cloth. And of course, this is obviously it's cool enough to touch. Didn't take too long. And uh, pop this open carefully, and there's our char cloth. Okay, so all it would take is just a quick spark. Um, when the fire dies down, I will uh, show a quick demo by using my. Uh, fire starter to throw a spark in there and see how quickly it takes okay it's still quite pliable it's just carbonized right so what happens all this uh, it, these didn't catch fire but all of the because of the hole all of the oxygen was sucked out as these burned so these will take a flame as long as they're dry very easily char cloth okay so here is our char cloth here just get it in the frame there and here's my flint and steel my, my uh, ferro rod and I'm just gonna throw a spark into it and it's already starting to spark up so we have a successful um, char piece of char cloth and we just see it start to the carbon starts to, the, the carbonized cloth, cotton starts to um, burn. So this is a way to make, have some tinder to carry with you as long as you keep it dry. And uh, you can just throw a spark into it and it'll already start to catch flame. You would obviously need to put this in a tinder bundle, okay? So again, starting with very, very soft items like cotton, uh, plant fluff, uh, and then put it into a tinder bundle of dry grasses. You could use newspaper or uh, a brown paper bag or just dry paper, tissue paper, um, news, like I said, newspaper. And then you'd have your fire lay ready and then you'd place your, your tinder bundle. All right, my main camera died, so I went to my phone. I don't know how much I was able to catch. But anyways, this is what the uh, char cloth is looking like or how it's burning uh, after you uh, throw a spark into it. So this would go in, again, this would go into a tinder bundle of very soft cottony material, if not cotton itself, wrapped around dry gra grasses or newspaper or any type of paper. Um, or, you know, like I said, grasses or dry leaves. And then, you know, you could place it into... Um, your fire lay and kind of blow it to flame and then it would should ignite your uh, kindling 
and then from your kindling to your larger uh, pieces of wood or, or fuel. So that's how char cloth works.